Clinical Scenario A 45-year-old female with a history of hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and smoking presents to the emergency department with sudden onset, severe chest pain. The pain is sharp, stabbing, and radiates to her back between the shoulder blades. She also reports shortness of breath and nausea. Her vital signs are BP 175 over 95 millimeters of mercury, heart rate 105 BPM, RR 22 per minute, and SPO 296% on room air. On examination, she is anxious and has a systolic murmur. A chest X-ray reveals a widened mediastinum, and a CT angiogram confirms a dissecting aortic aneurysm. Which of the following is the most appropriate next step in the management of this patient? A. Administer nitroglycerin. B. Initiate intravenous beta blockers. C. Start oral anticoagulation therapy. D. Perform immediate surgery. E. Administer aspirin. F. Begin intravenous fluids and monitor closely. Answer. B. Initiate intravenous beta blockers. Rationale. A dissecting aortic aneurysm is a life-threatening emergency that requires prompt treatment to prevent rupture and death. The primary goal in the initial management is to reduce blood pressure and heart rate to decrease the shearing force on the aorta. Intravenous beta blockers are the first-line treatment to achieve this. They reduce the force of contraction of the heart, leading to decreased systolic blood pressure and heart rate, thus limiting the progression of the dissection. Nitroglycerin may reduce blood pressure, but is not effective in lowering heart rate or preventing further dissection. Immediate surgery may be necessary in cases with complications, but is typically considered after initial medical management.